I have received a letter from the Honourable Member for Deakin proposing that a definite matter of public importance be submitted to the House for discussion, namely this government's failed policies creating a housing crisis for Australians. I call upon those honourable members who approve of the proposed discussion to rise in their places and I give the call to the honourable member for Deakin. Well, thanks very much, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, what you don't hear in question time from this government uh, is anything about the housing crisis facing Australians. What you see in question time from this government is a very self-satisfied Prime Minister and front bench who basically come in here every day and tell Australians that they've never had it better. We hear the litany of statistics from the Prime Minister basically telling Australians that you are so fortunate to have us as a government and they never mention the housing crisis that's being failed. The most recent example of that was in question time when we had the Prime Minister blatantly refuse to answer what I thought is a very reasonable question of the government. And that question asked, why on earth in the last two years of the Albanese government do we have the number of migrants coming to this country running at the very least twice, on some statistics up to four times as many homes being built? Think about that. Twice to four times the number of migrants coming in to homes being built. We saw statistics um, reported in the Australian last week from Simon Benson, who outlined that 900,000 migrants had arrived from the time this government won office until the 31st of December. And in that time, when 900 migrants, 900,000 migrants had arrived in this country, 265,000 homes were built. And may I say. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, 265,000 homes is delving into record lows for this country. Under this government, under the Labor Party, we've seen new home builds now at their lowest levels uh, since we've seen uh, in the global financial crisis. We see first home buyers at their lowest levels for over 10 years. We see rents. The rents that Australians are paying since this government came into office have increased by 26 per cent. And sadly, sadly, we see approvals data at its lowest levels for over a decade. And what that means, Madam Deputy Speaker, is that if the housing crisis is bad now, it is just getting worse. Because the approvals data is the canary in the coal mine for later this year, for 2025, for 2026, because if the homes aren't being approved now, they're not getting built over the next two-year period. Now, what do we see from the government in response? Obviously, we don't hear anything in question time about it. We hear the government, and we have heard the minister talk about the Housing Australia Future Fund. The Housing Australia. I'll take that interjection, Madam Deputy Speaker. The minister, the Housing Minister for the government, says supply. She says we are concentrating on supply. I don't think I'm verbaling the minister. She said that very clearly across the dispatch box. Supply. Well, let me tell the minister. Let me give the minister a report card. Let me give the minister a sense of how well she and the government is doing. The Australian Bureau of Statistics, this is our quote, the Australian Bureau of Statistics has highlighted the weakest quarter of a construction in more than a decade, with a meagre 23,000 dwellings commenced in the September 2023 quarter. So the Housing Minister says we're focused on supply. What does the report card say? What does the scoreboard say? It hasn't been worse for over 10 years, Minister. So you are failing your own test. And that's why this is just going to get worse. And the truth is, for those in the gallery and those watching, the reason it will get worse is because the government won't admit there's a problem. The government says we're focused on supply. That is what we're focused on. Yet they are failing badly. We see, as I said, renters having their rent increased by 26 per cent, with absolutely no plan from this government on how you get more homes into the market. We also saw on the weekend, I think, a very fair assessment from Australian people. They said, we are bringing in record numbers of migrants. 
900,000 migrants compared to 265,000 homes. Where on earth are those people going to live? Where are they going to live? Well, we know that all it's doing is pushing down vacancy rates. We now have vacancy, a national vacancy rate of 1 per cent. No wonder we, in my home state of Victoria, in my home city of Melbourne, when you see an open for inspection for a rental, the queues are sometimes going around the block. Because when you bring in 900,000 people with no idea of where they're going to live, guess who suffers? It's the Australians that live here. It's the Australians that live here that suffer. Now, I'm a very proud product of migration. I come from a migrant family. I'm a huge supporter of migration, but it must be planned. You must have a clue of where those people are going to live. We often talk about infrastructure and migration and the fact that our cities and the infrastructure in those cities has to keep up with the ever-growing numbers of migrants to this country. Well, there's no more important social infrastructure in this country than a roof over your head. There's no bridge, no road, no tunnel, no drain that's more important than a roof over your head. And so I would say to the Minister for Housing, I would say to the government, um, you can't abrogate your responsibility and say, well, that's another, minister's, that's another minister's responsibility. It's not my responsibility as Housing Minister, the number of people coming in. In the September quarter for the year, we had 548,800 migrants. 548,800 migrants. And in that time, we had 176,000 homes built. But there's a kicker in those statistics, Madam Deputy Speaker, an important kicker. Of the 176,000 homes built, at least a third, potentially up to a half of those homes, are actually just replacements of existing stock. So it's not increasing the numbers for a portion of those 176,000. So those figures are even generous to the government. Knockdown rebuilds, we see it all the time. It's a new home, but it's not increasing the stock of housing in this country. So the government says we're focused on supply. They're failing. They get an F for supply. They're, no government has done as badly as them since the last time the Labor Party was in government. Uh, but to get back to what we saw over the weekend, Australians, I think, rightfully said, well, if you're bringing in 900,000 migrants, surely you're bringing in some of the people who actually build the homes. Surely you're bringing in some of the trades that build those homes. But no, we don't. We find that predominantly increase the 200,000 uh, person increase in migration year on year to the September 23 quarter. The 200,000 increase to uh, 550,000 people was predominantly made up by students, not the tradies that are required to build the homes we need. So you don't have that countervailing support uh, for, uh, for the people that create this industry and build this industry. So where do we find ourselves now? In conclusion, we find ourselves in a dire situation. Labor's housing crisis is getting worse. There's no way you can spend the numbers. Labor's housing crisis is getting worse. We're at 10-year lows in the number of homes being built. We are at the lowest level of first-home buyers for over a decade. We have rents going up exponentially. And what's the plan, what's the policy from this government? The minister, after two years in office, will have the Housing Australia Future Fund established on the 1st of July, which we oppose. And if I'm completely wrong, if I am utterly wrong and the minister's right, and her Housing Australia Future Fund works tickety-boo, it's perfect, how many homes will come out of that Housing Australia Future Fund? 6,000 a year. So at a time when they're bringing in 548,000 migrants, this minister's answer is to say we will fund 6,000 homes for those 548,000 people. Now, I think it's very heroic to even think that they will meet their own targets. Since when has the Labor Party ever met a target like this, whether it's pink bats, school halls, you name it? But even if I'm wrong and the minister delivers her meagre 6,000 homes, 
at the same time as bringing in 548,000 migrants per year. What does it mean? It means misery for Australians and it means, quite frankly, our children will not have the same opportunity to own a home in this country as we had, and that is a shame on the government.